the next question that came in was, will seeking help from a therapist eventually be normalized like it seems to be in the US and Europe? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, I'm hoping that it will become normal for people to be clever enough that if they have a problem, they go and talk to someone, a therapist or, or a psychologist or a social worker or a coach, a trusted advisor, a trusted advisor and a respected advisor. And that, that makes sense to me. We used, we used to have them all the time. I mean, when I was a little kid, I didn't have a therapist, but I had my abuelo, my grandpa, that I would go to, and he was always on my side. So he would always make me, I, was, I was felt, felt good because I debriefed, you know. Um, so I'm hoping that one day we normalize going to a therapist a little bit more. That, that would be great. But I don't think you have to have an ongoing therapist um, all the time, just access one if needed. I think it's a smart thing. It's a smart thing. I don't know any high performer that hasn't got at least, at least one coach. Yeah, most of the high performers that I know have got two or three coaches for different things and a mentor. And they're not ashamed or embarrassed about it. And of course, they will have therapists if they need it, which very often they do. Yeah. So yeah, I'm hoping that it will become normalized. I think people, the, um, Hollywood is, is promoting that too that we should seek help, which I think it's a group, one of the few things that Hollywood is actually doing really well. <laughs> that idea that, you know, if you need help, seek help, you know. Uh, you don't have to suffer alone. Uh, it doesn't matter. Of course, women tend to seek therapy more often than men, but I'm seeing a trend where men are becoming more aware of the benefit of going and talking to someone. So I, I highly recommend it. And that I have to confess, I mean, I have confessed many times, you know, I am not shy. I learned it a long time ago, right? Uh, when I need help, I go and get it. If I need therapy, I go and get therapy. If I need a coach, I go and get a coach. Does it cost money? Yes. How much am I willing to pay? As much as I can afford to get the, the bestest coach or therapist that I can get that's the secret of my success really it's not very secret because I, I tell everybody about it but you know it's interesting that you probably find this funny the first couple of years that I went to a coach I wasted my money in a sense because I was pretending to be better than I actually was I was trying to show off <laughs> to a coach and I was paying a lot of money for that coach until I learned the lesson, you know, you don't come here to show off, you come here to just be real and authentic and get as much benefit as you can out of the session. So therapy can be very hard, especially for guys, because you, bearing a soul is not our, our forte. And it doesn't have to be, we don't have to completely be naked, uh, and I don't, I don't normally present my whole self to anyone, but you, you do, you can talk about certain things in a controlled environment with a respected coach, or, or, or it, look, you don't even need a therapist sometimes. If you have a good friend whose life you respect, whose life you respect, because usually what happens, they, you support anything your friend does. That's not a good friend. <laughs> you need a good friend, somebody that will tell it like it is, somebody that will give you the advice, somebody that will tell you, uh-uh, that's not how you do it. You're being an idiot if you go down that road or, or maybe not with an idiot, but whatever their style is, yeah? You need somebody that you can respect because their life is in order. You need somebody you can respect because they will tell you the truth, not what you wanna hear, right? So that's a kind of therapy too. But a professional, absolutely. Hi, I'm Emmy Golding, Director of Psychology for the Workplace Mental Health Institute. We hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. We have more and more videos being released each week, so when you subscribe, you'll get a notification letting you know when a new one's just been published. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't miss out on this vital information for yourself, your colleagues and your loved ones.